Hey guys, this is Yair. He'll be helping us out today to show you how to set up your Drygear DG12 standard unit. He's a certified Drygear technician and electrician. Before we get started, it is important for us to keep you safe. Make sure you read the operation manual and note the safety warnings before you begin. The first thing we'll need to do is to remove the braces that lock the compressor springs. There are four bolts holding down the compressor, two in the front and two in the back. Unscrew each bolt slightly, just until you can remove the brace surrounding the spring. Make sure you remove all four braces before continuing. This will allow the springs to soften the vibrations of the compressor. This is the electrical compartment. This is the main switch used to power the unit on and off. This is the mode selection switch, labeled SW1. Right here are indication lights. The green light is the run indication, and the red light is the fault indication. Up at the top is the thermostat on the left. It comes preset by the manufacturer and shouldn't be adjusted, and the humidistat on the right. Confirm the dry gear unit is stable and leveled before you begin working. Warning! Only a certified electrician is authorized to connect the unit to the grid. Before hooking up the unit to the main power supply, verify that the external circuit breaker is turned off. Begin by opening the electrical compartment door. Identify the grid connection terminal on the bottom row of the electric compartment. The supply wire should have a surface area of 10 square millimeters or 8 AWG. Before connecting the wires, make sure that the main switch is in the off position. For units using 60 Hz frequency, or the American standard, connect the wires from the main power cable to L1, L2, L3, and ground. When you're finished, it should look like this. For units using 50 Hz frequency, or the European standard, the connection includes an additional neutral wire and should look like this when you're finished. Now we are ready to power on. First, toggle the external circuit breaker to its on position. Now, toggle the unit main switch on. You will see the display on the thermostat and humidistat light up. During the first operation of the unit, you need to wait at least two hours between powering on before continuing to the operation stage. While you're waiting, you can go ahead and install the canopy. Make sure it is secure and stable. The next step is to connect the water drain pipe to the unit. First, remove the rear cover from the unit. Connect the prepared drain pipe with a siphon to the threaded 1.5 inch BSP bushing drain outlet. You can route the drainage tube out through the bottom from the floor beneath the unit. You also have the option of routing the drainage pipe out of the rear cover or the side cover of the unit. You will find a pre-made circular cutout on these covers that can be removed simply with the use of a screwdriver and a hammer. Now, we will set the desired relative humidity percentage, or set point, into the humidistat. If you look at the display, you will see that the humidistat on the right shows the current relative humidity level that the sensor reads in the room. To set the required humidity percentage, press the set button once. The screen displays ST1. Once you release the set button, the default humidity set point will flash on the screen. Right now, the set point is 30%. Using the up and down arrow buttons, set the value to the required humidity percentage. Right now, the humidity set point Yair wants is 70%. Press the set button again to save the change. The current relative humidity level that the sensor reads will be displayed on the screen. Two hours have passed since we first powered on. Now we can go ahead and operate the unit. The unit's mode selection switch has three operating modes. When set to zero, the unit is off. When set to one, the unit is in local mode and operates according to the set point you dictated into the unit's humidistat. When the unit is set to two, it is in remote mode and is operated and controlled by the climate control system. If you choose to work using the remote operating mode, call your climate control expert for assistance in setting up the connection. When operating the unit remotely, the unit will work based on the set point dictated by the climate control system. You should use 24 volt AC cables 
to connect to the relays at the bottom right corner of the electrical compartment, labeled 40 to 45. These relays provide the system with a remote start and stop command. These two will allow the system to send a remote drying command. And these two are responsible for sending a fault indication to the climate control system in case of malfunction. We will now turn the unit on in local mode. The green run light should be on and the red fault light should be off. If the red fault light is on, consult the operation manual's troubleshooting section. You will notice that the fans have begun to work. To check that the fans are working properly, you can do the simple test. Take a sheet of paper and bring it towards the coils on the outside of the machine. If the paper gets sucked towards the coils, it means that the fan is operating properly. Repeat this test for both fans. If one or more of the fans is not working properly, consult the operation manual. Verify that the air exiting the units is distributed above the plants and not straight at them. If the relative humidity level is higher than the set point, meaning that the unit needs to dehumidify to the desired level, the compressor should begin to work around three minutes after the machine has been switched on. You will be able to hear it running. When these two orange lights are on, it means that the unit is currently dehumidifying. Lastly, wait 30 minutes after operating the unit and check to verify that the coils are fully wet and that water is flowing out of the drainage pipe. Congratulations! This means that dry gear is effectively dehumidifying. Thanks for your attention! We wish you successful growing and dehumidification with your dry gear system.